Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Hob. Let's plug our crab in. <laughs> wait, wait, you said you couldn't do it last time. No, I, it wouldn't let me for, like, reasons, but mm -hmm. so I haven't turned all the power off. I, I oh. don't need your judgment. <laughs> I, I don't care if I'm not turning the voice. I'm gonna give it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is the, the social contract you signed when we did the show together, Chris. You're gonna get it. I don't remember signing any contracts. I wouldn't be that stupid. Well, that's why it's a social contract. <laughs> Damn, these non-verbal, all these verbal agreements. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I guess I won't murder people either. Yeah. Fine. No, nah, nah, that's fine. I'm not gonna do anything about that. <laughs> you think I care? <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the show, folks. Whoa, that button just, or that lever just got super zapped. Yeah, I guess that's the problem when you make everything out of, like, yeah. Highly conductive metals. Seems like about it. Where did I even get all of it? Have you wondered about that? Like, this is a lot of copper everywhere. Yeah, there's just like towns somewhere completely strip mined. Well, just the whole world is like this, presumably, so where are they getting it all? Magic? Yeah, I guess. Maybe it's just a world that's accidentally super rich in copper. I mean, some planet out there must exist that's like, that's like that. It's just like. Oh, Massive I see what I have to do, iron, Or, or uh, metals, anyway. What do you do? Oh, okay. Like, so, I think... To align I think. the thing? I mean, it you makes can a lot see of sense the bloopy to me thing, to though. have a bunch of lights and stuff. Yeah. You can jump up there? No. Can't jump that high. No, only go down. Wait, well, now where are you going? Oh! I'm gonna press this button. Ah. Oh, you certainly did something. Um, yeah, something something's definitely happening. What did you do? Chris? Did I like supercharge my crab or something? Oh no. What's happening? Oh god. Well. This is a massive concept. Are we activating no. a nuclear missile silo? Yeah, maybe. It took your crab though. Well, rip Shit, crab. What's happening? What did you do? I have no idea. I didn't do anything. I just showed up. I mean, if you push I the button to launch the nuke, you still the, did something. Follow the power cables? Ah, this is open now. Oh, it does a, it does a pulley thing now. Okay. Beep. <laughs> I'm literally just like, yeah, just flip this switch and dismantle <laughs> this terrain and yeah. turn this on. Eh, it's probably fine. It'll be fine. And then, like, meanwhile, some some other land somewhere is like getting nuked. Yeah, some now. village is underwater now or something. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's even better, actually. Just like raises or lowers a dam somewhere. Just. Bloop. Okay. Me, what's ever in this? Oh, it's a coin thingy. Whatever those are supposed to be. Oh, we schematic. warp through schematic to teleport, teleport behind, behind enemies. Behind them. You need this. Me. Maybe we won't get super murdered. <laughs> oh, you've been doing okay in the combat, actually. I've been, I've been, I've been pretty, this? pretty impressed. That is a nothing check. It seems like a something, though. It definitely seems like it should be a something. Maybe it's a thing you already got. Okay, occasionally that's time to zippity zoop across this canyon. There you go. Nope, still Man, going. I want this, it, like, in real life. <gasps> oh, we're back home. Oh, hey, okay. Hey, Rubber Buddy, we turned on the thing. Oh, does he have anything to say? Can we have a second awesome robot arm? Yeah, yes, please, please. Yeah. Maybe some robot legs? Yep, we did it. Yeah, we, yeah, it, it's on. Good job, we did it. Okay. Fo okay. He proves. Bye. Wait, uh, wait, wait follow gonna... him. Okay. Do you want to see where he goes? I want to see what upgrades I get. He's going this way. All right. Okay, okay so this is the next part, I guess. Oh, oh. What? Oh, that went. That did that. Oh, this is, it's, it's a ladder now. You can go up there now. What is that next to us? But What, what, what is that? Buddy? It looks like that corruption stuff. There's a whole bunch of horrible monsters down there. You can't really talk to him, can you? No, oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, those are the butterfly things on the map. That's what we're supposed to be collecting. Whoa. Well, did you just squish that with your hand? Uh, I think I took care of it and loved mm. it forever, but I may have crushed the life out of it unintentionally. Mm. Well, oh, I guess we're going down there in a second. Yeah. I'm gonna have a look at my upgrades. Yeah, upgrade Because I can. Yeah, dude. Let's see what you got. Did you get any more sword pieces? I don't actually know. This is not where my house is. Uh... <laughs> wasn't it around here, though? Uh, map. Where, where do I live? <laughs> Oh, oh to I the just left. Think it's back this way a little bit, yeah. yeah. It's fine. I oh, just he's... forget where I live sometimes. Yeah, that must be the best of us. It's okay. 
the he, he was sitting back there again. I don't know. Giving up, gotten bored. Yeah, maybe he didn't like the view after all. Maybe he's scared <laughs> of heights. It's understandable. All right, let's go see. Do we have any more sword pieces? I uh, don't think we do. I completely forgot about the fast travel system. How do I do? There you go. Oh, nice. Blue. How many did you put in? I only get one. I've only oh, got okay. one more at the moment. So, but one more, and we should be fine. Yeah, and then let's see what you can upgrade here. The, the teleport through thing would be great. Sword thrust. Whoa, some okay, of so these. We've got 135. The ability to teleport behind enemies. Yeah, I'm kind of. That seems really good. Kind of digging that. Sounds pretty good to me. You have 105 left. Um. Do you use dodge the roll? Also sounds nice. Yeah. Do you use that a lot? I try to. Maybe we use that one then, because you can get two still. Hang on, it's it's like every time you press up, it goes up two. Oh, what if you use the yeah deep out of what I was gonna go. say? So we got 65. Um, punch up greater like sword More punch damage. Yeah, I th I think I agree. That seems good. There we are. Plus, you'll get a mo bunch more green things later anyway. Almost certainly, yeah. So, uh, maybe just fast travel? That. Is this somewhere from here? Whoa! What was that? Was that the teleport through thing? That's my teleport through, and it uses up all my stamina, but... Zoop. Wow, that's cool. You you're, you are the mage now, the, the mage person. I am, yeah. Yeah. I am okay with that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's continue our adventure! Yeah, so far you're getting really fun abilities to use, like a teleport and that kind of stuff. It's all been pretty nice stuff, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nothing, nothing crazy complicated, just simple, traditional video game stuff. Well, sometimes in, in games it, it turns into this thing where you're like, oh, you upgraded, now you can do a regular combat role. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's one thing, you, you can just give us a cool teleport. Jump. Yeah, exactly. Well, a lot yes. of the time a double jump, for instance, is, is it like an upgrade you get. And, and that's, that's okay, because it's a way to gate off certain parts of the map. But I don't know, I can't remember what game this was, but when I was a kid I played this SNES game, and instead of a double jump, it would give you like a rocket boost. So it was like a lot of pomp and circumstance when you would double jump. Ah, nice. That was way more entertaining than, than just giving <laughs> me a second hop. I don't know, it's the way that it's presented as well. Uh, if I slide off that, I die. Let's not do that. This sounds like a good thing. Uh, over there, there's a city place. That's right, that's what you call that, a city place. Yeah, city place for seating. Yep. Yeah. What a, a lovely view. view in the spot. That is a very nice view. This world is very vertical. You notice that? It's like Minecraft levels of vertical. <laughs> I don't know if you've walked out the door recently, but at least you know maybe this is a this is a, a part of my local perception thing though because I live in the Netherlands. Uh, it yeah, is extremely flat. flat here. Like yeah, no, I mean I can look out the door and see a bunch of hills, but nothing like these vertical spires. But if you look at like uh, like there are provinces in China and stuff like that where these huge spires of rock jut out of the ground and that's just, really that's just what it looks like yeah that's sure. fucking like, cool like imagine in your mind a stereotypical monastery built upon a mountain top like these like spires of rock poking through the cloud and stuff and on top of them perch little how little did they get all the rock like up there that? to build up there what the hell people are crazy <laughs> man whoa oh Very shit nice. oh my god he's getting murdered by those, by those plants again this is a life lesson for him yeah <laughs> when you have plants, even when there's a yep. scary hob guy. Well, he dropped you a little apple or kidney, I haven't decided. Okay, more goopy goops. Yep, more green. Th this is me right now. I'm, I'm that container. That's me. <laughs> just spew it out lumps yeah. of green. Yeah, if, if you push my nose, I just mm. spew out lumps of green. Tasty. Except that sometimes they will just fall out by themselves as well. Blech. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh. Help. Ah, oh, God. Chris, you can't be you can't be funny today, please stop. Uh if I if I laugh, I have to cough immediately. Yeah, oh, poor thing. Ah, oh, jeez. This is this is why I can't wait for the uh the singularity. It's gonna be great. You want your you want your robot body, which yeah. As we all know from robots in the current uh, in the current universe, never break down or get ill or sick. Hey man. At least replace my Oop. nose with a robo nose. Like this guy had his arm replaced by a robo arm, so I no longer have to deal with this. That's all I want. It's good enough for me. Yeah, <laughs> you heard me. It could just be a faucet, you know. Yeah, just like a tap. With, yeah. Like, attached to a uh, attached to a bladder somewhere. It's yeah. Like, eh, just drain it. Yeah, exactly. Like every once in a while, I just go shriek. It'll be fine. 
I really like, uh, you, you watched all of Rick and Morty recently, right? I did, in, in my, my own personal fluid state. I yeah. watched all of it. Yep. Yeah. So I was watching, uh, well, I wasn't really watching, I was going over Twitter, and I saw this amazing comment thread between Rick and Morty, the official Twitter account, and Elon Musk. <laughs> of course. Like, the, the tweet was like, um, first by Rick and Morty, like, that the season was over, and then Elon went like, uh, oh, it's a good thing that the, uh, the singularity for this simulation is coming soon. Because it'll be much more interesting on higher or lower levels or whatever. Like, I was, like, <laughs> blown away by the fact that this was just happening in front of me here. Twitter is... Twitter is equally terrible and great. Yeah. What a crazy place. And oh, that's a climby thing. I was like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? But it's a climby I'm tentacle mad, like, vine climbing skills. Yeah. Yeah, because we've... What the hell is that noise I'm hearing? We've both kind of dealt with that, right? Like, the situation where... Twitter is like, you wanna you wanna use it and look at it, but then at the same time it's also like depressing uh, as have, hell. I have recently affirmed my long-standing suspicion that Twitter is merely a place for evil. <laughs> like, that, like there is there is not necessarily good on there, there is merely neutral and then frothing <laughs> I mean aggravating evil. No no no. there's there's some good on there. Like the way I use it, I think is the way is the way it, it seems to be the most usable. Like, I just, I hear from people all the time, like, they have it open all day and then just look at everything happening. I open it a couple times a day and look at the highlights and that's it, because otherwise yeah, it's that's, just Yeah, that's what I'm starting to do now, because my god, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, it's a, it's a very sort of like, um, I don't know the word right now, because my brain is filled with goop. No, um, controller. Like, a, it's, a, it's a high contrast between, between all the stuff that happens there. What do you call that? You, oh, it's like everything Everything operates on one end of a spectrum. Yeah, it's either the yeah. best thing that ever happened to me today, or, well, I'm going to go and just jump off a bridge now. Yeah, sort yeah, of thing. exactly. There's no in-between, or it's like, I had a cake, yeah. and yeah, it was a bit stale, but that's fine. Yeah, exactly, and then all the responses are the same as well, right? Like, everyone yeah. is always going one side or the other. It's never, it's never in-between anywhere. It's very strange. I guess that's just... I think that's a good, pretty good description of the internet in general, I guess. Whoa, your sword! Wait! Yeah, like, no, I keep my sword, it's just, it was also a key. I'm, this is one of those games, and this one has been specifically designed this way, but I'm just doing things because I can. Well, you're like, not an adventure. No... You're pushing forward. Well, I, I, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. It's not a driving motivation. Well, the driving motivation is there's a plague, like a, like a, a blight upon the land, and you're set out to destroy it, and to do so, I, you need to push, push forward. I don't remember being told that at all. I remember having my arm cut off, but that was, that, that was the only interaction with the plague well, I've had so far. No, no, the guy, the, your friend, he showed you. He showed you, like, in the distance, like, all of the plague shit. Ah, uh, say so. And then he, he I pointed to a thing. I was too busy being like, oh, I can just plug this into that. Ah, well, the whole ground moved. I saw it. Okay, Fair so enough. whose fault is it really? Well then. It's no response? Okay, that's cool. Nope, no response. <laughs> I, refuse to, I refuse to be the downfall of my own. <laughs> well, here we go. Here's an Fair archive enough. we just got. You, you, don't, you don't have to, uh, what, what's, that, what's that they say in American court? Like, you don't have to testify against yourself or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. keep your mouth shut, you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Just, you just bleed the fifth. It's cool. Oh, this so looks what cool. Am I... It's a theater of some sort, apparently. What am I meditating for here? I have here? no idea. There's a light. So the light pulsed and then powered shapes. Yes. Clearly. Alright, well, I'm sure at some point we'll be told what this actual... Man, I have no idea. ...meaning is... I guess the idea is that like something happened in the sky that was like like responded to the things on the ground and then it, they'll power something together. So yes, something like that. It's a theater. Just enjoy it. Get some popcorn. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing there's just like a tucked away secret and law station. I'm hoping yeah. we find more of those because at the moment, hardly fleshed out the story. Yeah, it's one of those, um, um... Like in, like in Journey or... Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Something like that, where it's like, ah, oh, there are 12 of these, and if you look at them all in the right order, then you kind of makes it. sense, yeah. And you still have to fill in half the blanks yourself. But it, it, going this it always gives me that feeling D&D gives me. You know what I mean? Like that, that feeling of like, well, you fill in the blanks of the world yourself. Yeah, I have been having, like, just the most desperate jonesing for a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Man. The last couple of days, like, 
actual, like, I've got my notepads out already and I'm writing stuff. Despite the fact that, like, I'll probably never play it, I just have to, uh... No, you can play it. It's fine, someone. Just have to do it. Roll 20 is a thing. Oh, oh, another fast travel. Cool. Cool. So we can go somewhere new. Yeah, if you're like Chris and you want to play D&D &D with people and you you can't find anyone in your 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 closed environment or whatever you're supposed to call that with the correct English, uh, then just find some people online and play through Roll20. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. It's yeah, really Roll20 nice. is the best. I was a little Ow, skeptical. Dick. Ow. <laughs> I was a little skeptical about this at first because I was like, you know, D&D is a oh, tabletop I game. I couldn't even imagine not playing it on an actual table. Um... But it works just fine. Go do it. It's a good time. Maybe, maybe I can ask if, uh, if you ever want to. Maybe I can ask if they if they have room or something in our uh, thing. Like we play Sundays or Fridays, so maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I don't want to sound like dismissive or anything, but these Dutch plebs. No, we have like a couple no, no, of Scottish no, people and uh, some Dutch people and that kind of stuff. So I'm or also uh, trying to British people. What's going on with the frame right here? Yeah, it's weird on your end. It looks completely it's normal. It's weird on my end. If it's fine on your end, that's fine. Cool. I'll ignore it then. I, it yeah, is. No, I'm just, I'm just desperate to play. Is the thing. I, like, I, I will. It's a good time, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a born DM. Like, I've only ever made the games. Well, I we have a DM, and you mentioned play. that you wanted to not DM for a change. Yeah, that'd be so, lovely. You know. Oh, that guy's asleep up there. Wait. Uh, leave right, him alone, God. you meanie. Wow. Just trying to catch some Z's, dude. Why Maybe sick like me. Game? Would you wake me up if I was sleeping there? Yes. Sure. Wow. Because we have press on recordings to do. Get up. Man. Right, I guess I'm going up here. Yeah. You know what? You go up there, and then I'll press off. That sounds good. And then uh, we'll see you guys next time. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, God, Chris. Now my frame rate is tanking over here. Yeah, what is up with you mentioned that, but I can't see anything. Is you it? Guys, if you can't see it, that's fine. I'm just, I was just like, Mark's asking me a question. I'm gonna sound like I'm not interested in this D and D thing. But what the fuck's going on with my PS4? <laughs>